Oh, right. Deputy right. Prime Minister Christian Freeland had just arrived for a meeting with the mayor. Christian. Yes. What the f are you doing in Alberta? You fucking traitors. Get the f out of this province. You don't belong here. Aides and City Hall staff defused the situation and no one was hurt. Go. But the perpetrator, a man named Elliot McDavid, had clearly planned the confrontation. Oh my God, we came at the perfect time. Oh, that was perfect timing. Video taken by McDavid's accomplice shows their excitement. I can't believe she walked in just like that. I know. There are now some security reviews as to how McDavid did indeed walk in just like that while politicians from all parties and all levels of government denounced McDavid's actions. The confrontation at City Hall captured on video does not reflect the welcoming spirit our region is known for. Alberta Premier Jason Kenney said the harassment was, quote, reprehensible, while the Prime Minister said such threats have no place in Canada. We need to call this out and take a united stance against it. The frontrunner in the Conservative leadership race also said such abuse has to end. Well, it's uh, absolutely unacceptable. And, I can and said his family has received abuse and threats. My wife has received so much uh, horrific material directly to her social media account that we've had to hire a private security firm uh, to protect our family against uh, all of that abuse, so unfortunately uh, this is all too common. Freeland's cabinet colleague Marcy Ian, a former TV journalist, said women and women of color especially see an inordinate amount of threats and abuse, abuse that was once exclusively online, but that is now very much in the real world. What happened to the deputy prime minister was reprehensible, but not surprising. I agree with, with um, you know, my colleagues who say we have to take the temperature down, but I will say that the temperature has been decidedly high uh, for people of color, uh, for racialized people, indigenous people in this country. Now, if real world threats are sparked by online content, well, the Trudeau Liberals promised to do something about that. They promised that they would introduce a bill within 100 days of being reelected. Well, the election was 343 days ago, and there is no sign yet of any legislation being tabled to combat harmful online content. Farah. David Aiken in Ottawa. Thank you, David.